Hello, uh, I'm Michael, and um, today I'm going to be showing you how to install um, spark plug wires on a Type 1 uh, Volkswagen Beetle engine. Um, this would be very similar to the Type 2 uh, Volkswagen engine as well. Um, it looks at least um, up through the 1971. Um, 72, as you know, probably. Um, has a different type of, of engine. So anyway, let's get to it. I am going to be probably moving around the camera a couple times today just to um, let you guys look at what I'm doing. All right, so one thing that's nice is that um, the, the cylinders are numbered um, on the cylinder 10 and so if you forget which one is number one and which one is number two and which one is you know three and four then you know um, by the numbers that are on um, the cylinder 10 but uh, number one's always on the you know the back um, excuse me um, if you're looking at the flywheel pulley, it's the on the right furthest away from you. One, and then the next one's two, and then three's the furthest one back um, behind um, the distributor, and then four is the the top or the front one on the um, The right, left side, excuse me. Okay, so um, first things first is I opened it up, the box, spark plug wires. There's a small wire, and then we got um, four other wires that goes to the spark plug at the cylinder head. Now there's oh boy, um, there's two that are shorter and two that are longer. Um, I'll talk about this this the short one first um, and you can see how the connection points on either side of the spark plug wires are a little different. So this part goes to the, the spark plug and these parts go to the distributor. This one is goes in the center of the distributor and I think I have, sorry to go in front of the camera there for you. Um, I have a distributor cap that's loose. Um, so a distributor cap has one in the center and then four on the outside. So this one goes in the center and then it connects to your your coil, which I haven't installed the coil in this engine yet, which I normally do before I um, start the wiring. So I don't know how I'm going to get you guys to see this, but I'm going to move the camera over here and hopefully you can see the engine a little better and um, so the the two wires that are kind of the shorter ones that go to the spark plug those go to three and four and then the two longer ones go to one and two <clears throat> and We'll, we'll talk more about the firing order in a second, but you can always find your firing order usually on the alternator or generator stand. It always has like uh, one, four, three, two. So that is how your um, engine fires when it, um, you know, when, when, when it burns the fuel out of your cylinders. Okay, so um, the hardest ones are the uh, the ones that go to number one and two, and I usually sh uh, fish them through to the other side by going from the distributor side to the the, the cylinder.
So I'm going to start with number one. Um, whoops. <laughs> let's, let's try that again. <laughs> this fat side won't fit. There's, so I'll, I'll start on the, the spark plug side and kind of fish it through <coughs> to the other side. I mean, it, it takes a little f finessing to get it in there, but you'll, you'll finally get it. Um, sometimes there's not enough room in between the end casting and the uh, fan shroud um, to get the wire in there. So after it's done, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna take the camera off of the stand here and kind of show you. Um, so number one, I, I install it, sorry, push it onto the um, spark plug, and then I seat it really well, make sure, and I kind of pull it, make sure it doesn't pop off. Um, man, I still feel like it's a little different than what I'm used to, but I guess, sorry, I guess we'll see when I fire it up. Um, okay, so it goes through, you know, underneath, underneath the the, the the alternator and it comes out by the underneath the carburetor and so if you remember your firing order one four three two and so um, on the usually um, if it's rebuilt correctly the number one should be right here and so I'm going to install number one right at that point. And it's oftentimes um, I pull the rubber back so the, the metal two or the metal connection point is um, there. All right, so um, this is number four. So you got one, four, three, two, one, four, three, two. So I'm going to fish number two through and then connect to this point. And then number, um, wall fish. Um, so number three, I'm going to fish through, uh, yeah, I'll just do number four. Sorry about yo-yoing. Yeah. Uh oh, I got it stuck. Can't, I can't do it one hand. Um, so I'll stick it through and I'll connect number four to the spark plug. Oops, sorry, I gotta get. And then I'm going to connect it to number four, place on this distributor cap, clicks in there. And hopefully that's, I didn't feel the, it felt like a click, but this is kind of a, a different style than I usually get. Um, usually they have a separate piece that kind of slides back and forth. Okay, so I'm going to put you back on the stand and um, kind of go through those things. Um, <coughs> let me think for a second. Um, yeah. And it's really not too hard. It's just um, sometimes it's just trying to get it to fish through is the probably the hardest part going underneath the uh, um, carburetor and the alternator and the generator. And like, like I said, inside the car, when the engine's inside the car, it's a little more difficult. Um, just because, you know, you're, you're crouched down um, and um, you have less space to work with. All right, so with that being done, I just want to talk to you a little bit about um, a couple of the the things that your engine might have that mine doesn't here. I'm going to take you off the stand one more time here. 
Um, so these, where are they? There's a hole, usually below the fan. Um, I'm trying to see if I have one laying around here. Sorry about the oddness here, but there's a, a, a hole underneath the um, alternator. And usually that hole has a two um, prong like connection point because these wires, they just kind of kind of just flap around. And so with um, those wire keepers, oh, right here too, there's um, a hole here that has one that these connect to. And then there's, well, that one is the, um, what do you call it? The um, accelerator cable hole. All right, so um, I'll connect this point and then um, that is how you connect, sorry, spark plug wires to a type one engine. Um, again, sorry for the uh, <laughs> moving around. Um, I'm in the process of kind of organizing and creating a space that I can actually videotape um, a little better so you could actually see me and also the engine in one take. Um, all right, thank you so much for, for tuning in and uh, listening to me jabber and uh, hopefully you learned a couple of things um, regarding installing your spark plug wires on a Type 1 engine. <clears throat> Thank you very much for stopping by and watching. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. And I'll see you on the next um, task that we're going to be doing together. Have a great day. Thank you.